What's going on YouTube? Um, today I'm making a beat. I already got into it actually. And uh, sequenced a few things. Um, I already chopped my drum. Got my drums. Uh, kick. Snare. And a hi-hat. And um, kick and snare, I got them on mono. And parameters, the kick and snare both on mono. But I got my closed hi-hat on poly. And uh, the hi-hat actually... <clears throat> In the manual uh, to sort of spruce up your your hi hat, you go to tune when you're in the uh, parameters menu. Hit open window on tune, and uh, you can mess with the pitch. Now, however hard you hit the uh, hi hat button or whatever button you're doing, um, you can adjust the velocity pitch. I got mine on five. So when I guess I, when I hit it a little harder than usual, it goes up to five. There's, it's on zero as it is. This is a little um, a little tip when you want to get your drum, your drum sounding a little natural, you know. And so uh, so far I got this right here. I'm gonna play you what I got so far. Started off with the snare. My drums are going to the eight outs. And, uh, oh yeah, some people ask, uh, what should you get for your, when you're doing upgrades on your MPC, <clears throat> the 2000 XL? You know, it doesn't come with the, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, uh, when you're upgrading, I think the the first upgrade should be uh, eight outs if you don't already have it instead of the uh, the effects card. Cause you know, especially if you get an XL for drums, you know it was really good drum machine for drums uh, as opposed to samples. But I mean, it does well with samples too, of course. But it's especially made for drums, and uh, you know you can individually EQ, you know each sound going to your mixer and a lot of times your mixer has effects in it as it is and, um, and then again when you're tracking your beats you can always add effects in your computer you know so I, I think the most uh, one of the most important um, upgrades is the eight outs besides you know the card reader and the <clears throat> and the memory but um, so snare so far then I added the kick And I have these sounds right now. I'm still sampling in the process. It's got those two sounds, and then I incorporated those in the in the uh, the beat. And I'll be back with more. Turn the timings off. Looking for some more bass sounds. This is a Ahmad Jamal record. Um, there we go right there. Genetic walk, thrift store pickup. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna 
Let's have a listen. Be right back. Alright, I went 16 levels <clears throat> on this sound right here. Alright, I erased the hi hats. They were a little off beat. So I'm about to do them, do them over again. Got the timing set to off. Alright, I got the bass on six, <clears throat> 16 levels now. Alright, YouTube got the final beat, and let me tell you what I sampled. Ahmad Jamal, uh, album is Genetic Walk, and uh, sampled like part, parts of three songs. One song, I can't make out the whole title, because it's a tear in the, uh, on the record. Uh, it says, I think it says something Bellows. Then the other two songs I sampled were Spartacus, Love Thing, and Chaser. Alright. Ahmad Jamal. Ahmad Jamal, you know, famous pianist, jazz, piano player. Let me get to the beat right quick. Go ahead and play it for you. <clears throat> 